Welcome, everybody. This is ITWF TV. We are here to bring you all the information and news about the International Domestic Workers Federation Fourth Congress from Belgium to the entire world. Don't miss any details. Stay tuned. Our last day of Congress was not only the culmination of four days of work, Are you excited to vote? Yes, yes, yes. but also of a five-year-long planning, strategizing, and working for domestic workers' rights. On the morning of October 5, our election committee announced our office bearers and called on Carmen Bertes as the new president of the IGWF, as well as Juan de Pidure as the first vice president, June Barrett as the second vice president, and Adriana Paz Ramirez as our new general secretary. The new elected officials, together with the EXCO representatives, had the opportunity to share their vision for the new mandate. <laughs> as an EXCO member when we had IDWN network. Now we have a federation, we have grown. We should be uh, we wanted to host the movement and to host for more than 600,000 domestic workers that we are representing that should be so essentially what domestic worker wants is to be respected. We are women and very domestic workers. Let's come together and work for the good, for the rights of all domestic workers throughout the whole entire world. Together and fight for our rights. For, for the domestic workers' rights, for the, for the LGBTQ and But what is the freedom of expression, freedom of thought, should be respected. I respect all my sisters, transgender, women, men, anyone disabled, we work with them. We will be able to build this federation bigger and more. Although this Congress brought significant change to the composition of our board, with a large number of outgoing members who have completed their mandates, one thing remains unchanged. It is the ITWF's belief and commitment that the priority is always to work for our membership of domestic workers globally and to promote their rights. After what was four days of hard work, our members were ready to unwind. After lunch, they had a choice of outing to explore what is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. In the evening, our members joined us for the launch of Myrtle Whitboy's biography, written by her longtime friend Jennifer Fish. Jennifer read passages from her book, reflecting Myrtle's ideals and teachings. The event was attended by over 300 people and followed by a reception and book signing. This activity-filled day was concluded with a solidarity dinner back in Dehan, where live music played and our participants showed us great dance moves. We thank our hosts, 
the ACV Food and Services for the innumerable efforts they have put forward towards this event, as well as the ITWF staff who have worked hard and continue to work hard. We are amazing, hardworking, impressive colleagues in the ITWF team. I mean, ITWF staff, and I know how hard and how dedicated all my colleagues are. And of course, most of all, we thank our members for their insights, experience, passion, and perseverance. So far. Interesting. A global organization, a global federation, acknowledge many regions. We are given the opportunity to meet all the leaders, uh, witnesses, uh, your election. Especially domestic workers are able to rise and exercise their rights. Seeing that we are here from different countries, we have met here and. This is showing solidarity. I love my mother was the founder of that union. And I continue to do the work after 17 years that she has been. concerned about. I mean, they're concerned about that every day they read about the murdered domestic workers somewhere. Petit souci, mais là où il y a des gens, on trouve toujours des solutions. Mais c'est bien, c'est une première expérience pour moi. And I'm expecting the participants, the domestic workers, to contribute so that at the end of the day, any decisions that are taken can be implemented. It is so amazing that it's comprising of different nationalities and different countries attended this conference. Et je pense que tout se passe bien, malgré il y a des petits soucis, mais là où il y a des gens, on sait s'arranger. Some of the domestic workers work very hard to support their own self as single parents, so we. we have, Para mí significa mucho, ¿verdad? Porque es luchar por los uh, beneficios de todas las trabajadoras domésticas. I could see the growth of domestic workers, how they can express themselves. Eh, bueno, ha sido bastante interesante. Eh, es muy interesante ver que una misma situación es analizado con diferentes miradas según la cultura. The Congress has been quite a journey. It was an opportunity to reflect on the work of our founding mothers and to look into the future of how to continue building and strengthening this global movement. This Congress is a very emotional Congress. The Kingdom Congress is different from this Congress. So we cry a lot, we have a lot, you know, and we laugh a lot. And hopefully, hopefully, we will start a new one. The Congress marks our 10th year anniversary as a federation. And we are so excited to see what the next decade will bring. Long live the domestic workers movement. Be a lighthouse that is burning all the time.